Hello, welcome to Drainage Sales on the PVSL Group YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a solvent weld waste joint. Now to make a solvent weld joint you need solvent cement. Now that's a chemical that breaks down the outside edge of the pipe and the inside edge of the fitting and welds it together. It actually fuses it together to make one piece of plastic. Now what that means is it's a permanent joint so you shouldn't use it until you're ready. If you think you might ever want to take it apart again, then don't use solvent weld, use a push fit system. Okay, it's a simple process to make the joint. The first thing to do is just push the fitting onto the pipe dry, like so, and just put a pencil mark around the pipe, just so you can see where to put your solvent weld. Next thing, solvent weld has a brush applicator inside it, so, liberally brush your solvent weld around the inside of the fitting like so always do the fitting first so you can put it down without making a mess now do exactly the same on the pipe so brush it liberally around the right the way around the outside inside your pencil marks there and then push the two together. Now when you push them together give them a little twist like so just to make the two edges of the plastic bite and then run a cloth just around the joint just to wipe it so that it's nice and neat like so. That is the joint made. Now don't touch that for five minutes, don't handle it at all and then leave it for 12 hours before running water through it and that will be a completely water type joint. To be honest, it'll be a water joint joint a lot quicker than that, but we always say leave it 12 hours just to be safe. Uh, when you cut your pipe, when you first offer it up to the fitting, make sure there are no burrs or dust or grit on the end of it, because that would affect the solvent weld. Other than that, that's all you need to know. It really is an easy system to use. I hope that's been helpful. Please take a look at the other videos on our channels and have a look at our website www.dronesales.co.uk because there's lots of information there too. Thanks for watching, see you again soon.